Hey, what's up everyone? Today I've got some exciting news for all you Linux and Windows fans out there. Arch Linux is now officially available in the Windows subsystem for Linux. Yep, you heard that right. Arch is in WSL. Let's dive into what this means, how to get it set up and who should or shouldn't be using it. Let's go. So WSL, a Windows subsystem for Linux, is Microsoft's super handy feature that lets you run Linux environments natively on Windows 10 and 11 without setting up a full virtual machine or dual booting. Think of it as a lightweight Linux VM that boots in seconds, has direct access to your Windows files and network, and, and even lets you run GUI apps side by side with your Windows programs. Pretty cool, right? Until now, you could pick from a bunch of official distros, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Kali, OpenSUSE, Oracle Linux, Alma Linux, and even community builds like Arch if you went hunting for them online. But today, Microsoft added Arch Linux to the official WSL catalog. That means no more extra downloads or manual hack, just one command and you're off to the races. If you've already set up WSL before, installing Arch is as simple as opening PowerShell as an administrator and running. To SL dash dash install Arch Linux. If it's your very first time using WSL, you'll need to run. WSL dash dash install dash no dash distribution. Then reboot your PC and finally run that WSL dash dash install Arch Linux command. Easy peasy. Now, full disclosure. If you're new to Linux, you might want to stick with Ubuntu, Debian, or Fedora on WSL. They've got super stable foundations, huge package libraries, and support for Snap or Flatpak if you need it. Arch, on the other hand, is more of a bleeding edge distro. Its packages are updated faster, but that also means you might run into breakages more often. So Arch on WSL is perfect if you already use Arch elsewhere or if you just love tinkering with the latest Linux software. But if you want something rock solid, start with Ubuntu or Debian first. One big limitation, Arch in WSL is only available for x86-64, AMD-64. PCs, no ARM-64, build yet. That means if you have a Surface Pro or XPS with a Snapdragon processor, you won't be able to install Arch on WSL right now. You can still use the other distros though. All right, that's the scoop. Arch Linux is now officially part of the WSL lineup, installable with a single command, perfect for Arch diehards and bleeding edge testers. If you're planning to try it out, let me know down in the comments which packages you're most excited to play with. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tips, and hit that bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.